I've passed the sculpture many times, and it was not until recently when I came back to look closer at it when I realized how interesting it actually was. To be quite honest, I at first thought it appeared as if it were just several rocks piled on one another. Yet with time, more knowledge and background, I am able to see that this piece is far, far more than just rocks uniquely stacked. Located in such a prominent location on campus, the sculpture, Franz Joseph, is actually meant to be a symbol of expression that most people on campus don't realize they are lucky enough to walk by each day. In order to find out true, detailed information on the sculpture, I had the pleasure of speaking directly with sculptor Harry Gordon. He actually worked in Allentown, right nearby, for someone named Philip Berman, who donated many pieces to Lehigh. There, Gordon spent several years working on smaller stone sculptures, but when he realized he wanted to master his craft further, he took to a medium-sized block of Vermont marble to his own study, which would later be Franz Joseph. Gordon worked on the sculpture for two years, using any tool that he saw fit. The reason he wanted to focus on this marble sculpture was because he spent a lot of time focusing on carving wood, and this medium was far more complex. He actually admitted he basically taught himself how to carve stone with Franz Joseph. The interesting theme that we discussed about Franz Joseph and some of Gordon's later works is that they are all anthropomorphic, but not representational. This means that there is more of a focus on the flow of work, the movements he takes to create the final product, and in Gordon's words, a gut feeling. With this, as I look at the work again, I can appreciate the flow and details of how the sculpture connects in an almost fluid, lifelike way. Gordon explained to me that he doesn't do any preliminary work for his pieces, no sketches or models, he just sees what the tools do for him. The practice is a risk, as without preliminary planning, there is no real telling what the sculpture will end up like. At the same time, that is the beauty of it, as the art truly has the chance to speak for itself. As I walk to each side of the sculpture, I pick up on the fact that no side is the same as the other. I notice a part of the sculpture that almost resembles a nose, and feel that it becomes tied back to that lifelike but also ambiguous aim that Gordon goes for. To me, having the ability to work in free form as Gordon does allows the viewer to relate closer to the artist. While Gordon is very clearly skilled in his craft, the ability for an individual to choose what they see in a piece of art is a rewarding experience. With this, I view Gordon as a sculptor for the people, with an aim of having individuals try to use an artist's set of eyes to come up with their own unique assumptions about Gordon's work. After learning about Franz Joseph and the work Harry Gordon does himself, I am very proud that this piece stands proudly on Lehigh's campus, as to me it signifies freedom of expression and that everyone has their own ability to try something new.